PF has really outdone themselves with these candles. Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. And today I have three very special candles from PF Candle Co. The limited run of their new collection titled Soft Focus. And it's a really fitting name for these candles, and I'll explain why in a moment. There are three candles total in this particular collection named Canyon Hideaway, Citrus Days, and my favorite out of three, Electric Surf. It's said that these scents are two spark recollections of the ethereal days spent at different iconic locations in California. Sort of like those memories that you will never forget, the type of memories that make you smile every time you think of them. And I am someone who loves to correlate different scents with memories. Good memories. I should point that out. Get rid of any scent immediately if it brings up any bad memories. We don't need that type of energy in our lives. As you know with my reviews, I am thoroughly going to give my thoughts and impressions on each candle and let you know if they're worth picking up. I think you may already know the answer to that, but hear me out because these aren't your normal PF candles. At this point, PF can sell air in a jar and I'll still buy it. In all seriousness, PF is a company that learns, listens, and adapts, and I think that is very important being in this, I guess you can say, large space of good candle brands and new candle brands popping up on a daily basis. You have to be ready to pivot at any moment, especially in today's time with everything in constant change. You have to be ready for anything. You have to continue to learn daily about what's working or not and listening to your clientele to adapt to these changing times. The amount of research and development that goes into some of these candles is not an easy task. At least I would assume that it's not easy. I don't have a candle brand of my own, but if I did, as a perfectionist, I know it wouldn't be easy. There's so much more than just throwing different scents in a bucket and hoping for the best. I also think it's very important for small and large brands to continue to evolve in a sense, not only to stay relevant, but to continue working on your craft. Believe it or not, fragrance is an art form. Whether a fragrance was made using a master perfumer or it was made in a kitchen somewhere, it's an idea of a creation that you were thinking and to see that idea come to life that's, it's an art form. Okay, I feel myself going off the deep end. This is not a business consultation video. To bring it back to evolving, I feel PF is taking a step forward with this limited run of their soft focus collection. These are candles that aren't like anything else they offer in their lineup. When I think of PF Candle Co, I think of bright, warm, sunny scents. Just think of California. I feel it's the core focus of this brand, and with these new candles, you will pretty much find that same DNA, but they added in something a little extra. Playing off the name Soft Focus, think of it as a soft scent wafting through the air with the focus of delivering a stronger, more noticeable fragrance. They really stepped it up a notch with these candles. Starting with these frosted glass vessels with black accents from the screw top lid and lettering on the label. It makes for a nice minimal design that's nice to the touch, not that you'll be touching them while they're hot or anything. <laughs> Let's just say this frosted look makes for a great looking candle, especially when it's lit. And the design isn't too far off from their original apothecary vessels. I think if you're going to make special candles for a brand, the designs shouldn't stray too far off from the original designs. Don't want them to look like candles from an entirely different brand. I guess you can call it brand relevance. When I initially smelled these scents, my first impressions were they definitely provided a different feel than what I'm used to from PF. And I mean that in a good way. They're quite a bit stronger, still soft, but the strongest performing candles from PF in my opinion. They're brighter, even more pronounced, and I love a candle that performs well. I think most of us do. I'm not sure if they're experimenting with something new for the future, but I'm liking what they got going on. I call these soft focus candles their heavy hitters, and I've been burning them nonstop. Right after burning my morning incense, I've been reaching for citrus days to begin my candle burning rotation for the day. I want to point out that these three candles make for the perfect setup to burn throughout the day, starting with citrus days for that perfect morning burn, which has to be one of the brightest scents I have come across. Citrus days has this very pungent citrus personality to it. Orange leaf is prominent on the opening and sort of amplifies as it reaches that second to third hour for that nice wax pool on the surface. Gobinum is another prominent note that is known to have a vibrant green scent. I would describe it as earthy and very grassy almost balsamic in a way. And then you're introduced to some floral notes of some California poppy, lilac, and geranium leaf. The life of this scent lives in the top and middle notes. The base notes are only here for moral support. I'm telling you, this is a very bright candle that's full of life. 
I mainly burn this in the morning because I love its citrus properties. I typically stick to a citrus candle in the mornings or some type of aromatherapy scent. It's almost like coffee, it helps start the day off right. The performance is fantastic for a small to medium sized room, about your average size bedroom or living room would be perfect. Of course, the size of the candle, how many wicks it has, and the size of your space will affect performance. It would struggle in open concept areas, but if you're sitting close by it, you should be fine with being able to smell the scent. Now, usually PF candles are perfect for small rooms, but the hot throw has been greatly improved on these and I'm loving every moment of it. I highly recommend Citrus Days for the citrus lover. In my afternoons, I look for something with a little kick to it. Something a bit strong and enjoyable to keep the stress levels down because my days right now can get a little hectic. And Electric Surf is, well, electric. Perfect for those days when you need a little stress relief and it happens to be my favorite from the Soft Focus collection. This is a very fragrant scent. The personality of this one is very ozonic, very marine-like with a mineral undertone to it. And you can immediately notice it from the cold throw and the opening within the first few minutes of burning with kelp and sea minerals. That's followed up by one of my favorite notes of all time, the sweet essence of jasmine. It complements this scent perfectly. Ocean salt is also featured in the mid notes, which I guess gives off that mineral aspect along with the sea minerals that's in the top notes. The base notes of this is a little heavy with warm notes of bonfire smoke, tonka, and patchouli, but I'm personally not picking up any of those since because this is a very heavy ozonic candle. If you have this one, let me know if you're picking up anything from the base notes. I'm just getting those distinctive ozonic notes and it's very mesmerizing. Electric Surf kind of reminds me of a bright sunny summer day after a fresh rainfall. While it still smells like rain, but there's this fresh smell of sweet jasmine in the air. Such a beautiful scent and electrifying. Since this one is so vibrant, I found it to perform a little better in open concept areas. It's the perfect scent to keep in a medium sized living room or a space where you spend most of your time relaxing. Electric Surf is honestly something you can reach for any time throughout the day and enjoy. Now, when it comes to the evening, the warm resinous scent of Canyon Hideaway is what I'm reaching for. Especially on those warm nights, relaxing in a dim lit room with a nice breeze coming from an open window. That's the perfect situation to describe this scent. The smoked juniper paired with the red cedar definitely stands out the most. These notes provide a nice woodiness on the opening in the first hour of burning. Then the resinous amber starts to take over with a slight hint of leather. The leather isn't prominent, but it's there to really give that warmth you get from burning this. Now, you may be thinking that this scent is dark and smoky from the makeup of notes. I would agree that it is a bit smoky, but it's not as campfire smoky as you get with some other candles. I do have the campfire candle from PF. I don't know if they still offer it, but that scent is full on campfire. With Canyon Hideaway, there seems to be a hint of something sweet that almost gives this candle a creamy undertone, maybe coming from the sandal wood found in the base. It isn't overwhelmingly smoky. You can burn this without it smelling like a wood fire. It does a fantastic job at maintaining its woody scent makeup without becoming full on smoky. I wanna point out that this is the lightest of the three candles. I wish it was a bit stronger compared to the other two candles because this is truly a great woody candle. I would pay double the price for if it came from a brand like Boy Smells. Don't get me wrong, this will perform okay in a medium size room, just not as strong as the other two candles. Canyon Hideaway has turned out to be one of my all-time favorite woody candles in the collection. These three candles are noteworthy scents coming from PF Candle Co. Seeing that this is one of my favorite brands, I expected nothing less than fascinating scents. I'm not entirely sure how long these limited edition candles will be available, but I really hope they become permanent in their lineup one day. I wouldn't even mind if they were put in the regular apothecary vessels. I just want the scents to stay. I may have to stock up before they're gone. I will be sure to leave links in the description. Let me know if you picked up any of these scents and what are your thoughts on the Soft Focus collection? Let's talk about it. Well, that's gonna be it for today's conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.